Hi, this is Sahara playing Abaddon 3 The Warborn, and we are currently in the Four Circles, and our quest is to go to find the Chimerian Council, but in the meantime, we are building in this area down here at the bottom, to the, nor to the north, I'm sorry, to the south. We ran across these stone abandoned um, ruins, houses, whatever, and we didn't see anything the first two, but this last one, two sol soldiers showed up, so this was the last one for us to investigate. So we're going to go into here. I'm just checking around. This also has a magic circle around it. Stone circle, I should say. A magic stone circle. Alright, so let's see what's in this one. And it keeps just telling us, what are these doing here? Why isn't, you know, so close to the spire? Why isn't it... It's just mysterious why they're sitting here empty. Which makes sense. If people are coming all the time to need, why aren't they using these to rest and relax in? They're still in pretty good condition instead of camping out in the cold or in the environment. You explore this stone building. It looks like it's been abandoned for quite a few years. If someone has been here recently, your tracking skills are inadequate to find the signs. So I, I'm still thinking something. God, that almost looks like a... I keep thinking there's going to be some kind of um, or switch or something. All right. Because this is not the way of the building looked like inside or outside. I know there's more to these. Oh, that almost looks like a switch there too, but it doesn't light up. doors. <sighs> I don't know. Anyway, I'm thinking we're going to be coming back to this place for some other thing. For another um, quest, maybe. you think all these sheets of paper would be blown away by the wind, would have disappeared in the rain. <laughs> you know, something. Oh, we got another campsite here. But no one around. This is just so weird. And this right off of... Huh. That's that's even odder. It's right off of uh, an exit going in and out. Hmm. This is strange. Very strange. All we saw were those two soldiers. So I'm wondering, were they in this camp? Where did they come from? We were wondering. And, and then there's a campfire here. I just saw something moving. So where did they... But then we have these totems, which are usually signs of wretches or ogres, something. I think maybe I should get this done up here, because I don't think it's going to go any further than this. Something's gonna happen here. Aha! Hunter, hunter, whoever. Hi. Ooh, we got several of you here. Yeah, they're not easy to kill either. Um, these are wretches. They're rich shaman. So, oops, that's not what I meant to do. Let's go ahead and do our days. You need to go over just a little bit. There we go. They're dazed. And I think I won't be able to come over here now because he hit me. Hmm. What do we got? Battle charge. Leap toward one of your foes, damaging it and making it more likely to attack the blade master. Improved by dexterity. All right. She. What do you have? 
ice storm. Ooh, that actually did some good damage. Oh, but he just healed him. How many shamans do we have? Oops. That is not what I meant to do. Urgh. I hate it when that happens. Just wasted that one. So, how about... The only way you can do that is you gotta get closer. No! Yeah, that helped. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm leaving my mage. Defenseless here. Okay. So we got another shaman. Oh, that was easy. <laughs> I was thinking it was going to be... Oh my god. Oh, still greaves. I have leather greaves. I thought I changed them out. Oh, I can't use them anyway. Can't equip this item. Oh, I need a 10. I don't think she can even do them right now because she doesn't. Well, maybe she can. And does this put it over 78? No, it does not, but good for her. Okay, so what were you guys doing up here? Is that some more brute? No, just some dice. That can go to her. And okay. up this way. Another one? Some more. Oh, this must be the back end. The other way into it. Hmm. But we can't get in this way either. Hello? So the only way in... Hitching poles, that's what I was trying to think of. That's what it reminded me of those hitching poles. So this whole thing is... Oh, right. Hmm. Well, there is... Did I not notice that before? Let's go clear up here because I missed it. Maybe that was a way in. There's got to be a trap door or something for me to get into. I know, I'm going clear out of the way. I didn't even notice this till just now. You know, this whole area isn't even filled in. It's gotta be a, just another, what does it say? Great, great meeting circle. Set all blades aside and come together for Camaria. Except it's closed. Hmm. There's going to be a back entrance some way, like either a switch, something going to let us in. Looks like somebody had a fight there. Well, there's a dead body down here with rats gnawing on them. Several dead bodies with rats. Really? Ooh, and what are these? Rats hunters. want to do. Good. 
That was pretty good. Yeah, of course your fingers. All right. All right, those are gone. Now we can work on these idiots down here. Except... Yeah, I need... That's too far. Same thing with you. Oops. Ah. Okay. So you guys were down here terrorizing somebody. Honey, tunic. Find chain mail. Can I do that? I've got 20. Yeah, but it doesn't give me. Hmm. I, I don't know. Might save it for. Does she. Can she use the greaves? Yeah, she just has pants. Um, 41. Nope, it doesn't put it over her limit. It gives her a little bit more protection. So. Hmm. Hum, 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 hum. The other way we couldn't get in. And another way we couldn't get in. And we've got. Where is it at? I just saw it. Right here. Where's this go? Somewhere I'm thinking there's going to be a switch on a wall. Oh, I'm probably missing it. Oh. Darn it. Damn it, Jim. Okay, let's just go down here. There's something else down here. I know I was getting ready to, to come across the bridge and I stopped that. I think that was right here. Oh, this is the gate that comes in. Okay. I found the way in, but then I have... What was I looking at that's not built in yet? Right here. Never know. Sometimes it's how you find things by snooping around, looking around. Okay, so, oops, here we go. Lockpick. Worth it for that lockpick, especially when they charge so much for them. Alright, so I think I've gotten everywhere down here. Yep, yeah, I do. No, it's just into the door. Up here. And how are how are we going to be received? Hmm, interesting. The tunnel into the meeting spire in the center is equipped with a massive steel particles designed to keep intruders out. Inexplic inexplicably, it has been left partly open. The gap at the bottom is just big enough to slip through. Okay. So, they're wanting uninvited guests? Hmm.
Do I want to close that or not? No, probably not. There's only one way to go. Another magic circle or stone circle. You currently, you carefully emerge into the clearing in the center of the spire. Before you is a stone circle, not for magic or worship, but for meeting. It is where Chimerians come together to argue, judge, and plan. It is empty. Everyone is left. There are tracks on the ground, lots of them. A lot of the enemy was here recently. Then they left all at once and quickly it seems like you are too late then you hear a door close someone has walked out of a stone hall to the north he is waiting by the door oh really there you are shaman oh. shaman dom oh, okay so he is behind some of this shaman dom interesting He's the shaman for um, Chief uh, Chief Tilia. That is very interesting. So he's been working behind her back. He's the one that got her son involved. You can almost bet on that. That hmm, old man that he is. Oops, that's not the one I wanted it to go under. Old man that he is. He did it. And I can bet she never even knew. Well, obviously not. I could do all this looting before or after, but I want to do it now. Before we confront him. I'm just sorting out my mind, too. With the whole implications of this. she was being used by her shaman for whatever reason she's trying to end the war and he's trying to keep it going done with the exploring here and then we're going to confront him it takes two wow is it really worth two well it's got a ruby and a base and a group yeah it's worth two Is worth two. All right, so let's go talk to the old man. Whoop, wait a minute, I got this little area here yet. Sorry. Where someone's been sleeping. Yep. Um, I don't think I have a helm. No, I've got that. Can she use a helm? No, she cannot. I think we can use it for one of our other party members. I didn't have hats or helms. As much as I did everything else. You don't run across that many helms, to be quite honest, in this game. Okay, so let's go talk to this guy. Hmm, it's got my interest. Shaman Daman. Shaman Dom, there is a lone Chimerian waiting for you. He stands by the door to the northern hall, watching you approach. Re you remember him. He is Dom, a shaman from Banatok's stead. He greeted you when you first came to meet Chief Tilla. He seemed a lot less threatening then. You expect some sort of greeting, a wave or a maybe a few words. Instead, he inspects you briefly, turns, and enters the hall. So he's being contemptuous. Okay. 
He is being contemptuous. Oh, and then he went down a stairway. You're leading us into a trap. That's fine. We're going to kill your ass anyway. No. <laughs> I like this. You're down in these dungeons and they have these little signs. It says where you're going. You reach the bottom of a long stairway and find an enormous cavern. It's far, far bigger than you expected. A walkway leads to the south and you can see piles of supplies in the shadows to either side. At first you think that this is a hidden base for enemy raids. The sign to the south makes you reconsider. This might be the entrance to a school. Really? Hmm. Aspirant Chimerian Shamans, determined to learn the ways of stone, come here to train. It was abandoned when the war began. Now it is cold and quiet. Yet Dom is down here somewhere. He has some serious questions to answer. Aspirant move, aspirants move on. Families must go. Their learning is from us now. So am I going to learn some um, stone magic? Hmm. Well, I know where we're supposed to go, but I'm going to go the other way. Just because. Why confront the enemy right away when we have areas to explore? We have lots of talking later on. You look through this open gate and see another large hall to the south. That chamber is lit by a lake of electrical energy covering the floor. It seems stable, but stepping into it would be a bad idea. Something about this screams ambush. It wouldn't be a good idea to walk past the gate until you're sure you're prepared. Um, no. Thank you for the warning, game. Thank you for the warning. Because my curiosity, I would have went down there. <laughs> and then I would have died. Take one. I only have seven left. Ah. Alright, let's do it. Ooh, it was worth it though. Wand of fire. Yeah, it was worth it. But do I have to pay for everyone I want to go into and look? Like this one has a door over here too. Nope, that one opened. That's because there's nothing in here. I'm still looking for material for a steel. I need bowels and tubes, is what he said. Bowels and tubes. I'll take that. Well, see, it doesn't make any sense. Why do they sometimes make you pay for a lock? Well, but I guess it was just because there's only one thing. Still, there have been other times when it just doesn't um, seem fair. Well, how can I be prepared? This is all. This is all there is. Huh. So what do they mean by prepared? Like saving your game? Because <laughs> you're going to die? Well, I've explored everything I can here, so I guess... I am going to go try to figure out what this means. Save. Oh, there's Shaman Dom, too. With, uh, Gorma, Gar Garmoon and Vincennes. Hmm. Oh, it's a Shadow Walker. Taka, Shadow Walker. When you enter the hall, you can see that a group of people are waiting on the other side of the lightning field. The bright lights in your eyes kept you from seeing them. Ambush or not, you are a hand at Babadon. You were sent here to find out what is happening, and that requires facing your foes. You step through the gate, determined to keep your fears from showing. And you know it's going to close behind us, right? Oh, it's moving on its own now. <laughs> You step through the gate and out into the hall. You can see now that it is a massive temple. 
Though some of the benches have been pushed aside to make room for crystal spires and the hellish deadly walls of magical energy they project, right after you enter, of course, the gate slams shut behind you. Sure enough, it is a trap. Whoever is on the other side of the death field, you are stuck in here with them. One of them steps forward. It is, at, as expected, Shaman Dom. You don't recognize the other three, though you're surprised to note that one of them is an ogre. Okay. You hear the click of a cane on the stone floor. Dom, the ancient Chimerian shaman, steps forward out of the shadows. His three guards stay close by, waiting for you to unleash some weird Abaddon trickery. Dom looks across the lightning at you and shakes his head. I had hoped it wouldn't be you, Shahara. Many hands are monsters. It doesn't seem you are. Nat Natalie ignores the conversation. She is looking at the three crystals creating the field. The one to the east seems to have her attention. You had a good reason to invade the sacred place? Well, um... You dare to trap me in here? You had better tell me what is going on. You had better tell me what is going on. Or I will make sure that Vanatok's dead is destroyed. Yeah. Redbeard would do that too in a heartbeat. Does he have the resources to do it though, really? I don't think he does. I think he's a lot of hot air now, to be quite honest. He's, he's working with hands that he doesn't even like working with because he doesn't think they're up to snuff. And yet he threatens to <laughs> unleash his furry. Oh, no. Um, why, why are you betraying Chief Tilla? Because the only destiny of Chimera is freedom. Nothing matters but our freedom from the vicious rule of the pact. Chief Tilla forgot this. We two Chimerians never will. Uh, okay, I came here to see what you were doing. I understand. I knew when I met you back in Banatok Stead that you would be relentless. Still, I didn't expect you to find four circles. What drove you so hard that you must die in this lonely place? Um, <laughs> I believe there is a meeting happening. <clears throat> You are correct. Well, mostly correct. The meeting concluded, but the participants ha fled the moment we knew Abaddon was coming. We have dispersed, except for me and my guardians. We volunteered to stay here and make sure you don't steal our secrets. Yeah, like they're going to tell me who was at the meeting. <laughs> Especially if they're... Yeah. Um, what was the meeting about? Great things, bold plans, matters of grave import. The pact will learn in time. Not yet. Was Dylas here? Dom is silent. Your guardians? Dom grandly indicates the three warriors standing with him. Taka. Garam. And Benes And Bensons. In return for my help, they have stayed to keep me safe. Taka is clearly a, Hulk, a Hulklandian, probably a shadow walker, definitely a traitor. Gorum is a huge ogre. She is one of the warborn who helped the enemies of the pact. Finally, Ben's, like Vincent, Benson's is a small Taiwan man. He doesn't seem threatening. You're sure that he is. Dom says, you can stay in this little lightning trap and starve. Of course, honorable suicide is a good option. In that cage, in that case, if you leave your little circle, you will be forced to kill. Ah, I'm sorry. Why was I getting tired? You can stay in this little lightning trap and starve. Of course, honorable suicide is a good option in, ca in that case. If you leave your little circle, we will be forced to kill you. Our secrets must stay safe. Please let me go. I forget all I saw. <laughs> um... If you can, you can still survive, but only if you help me. No, I don't think they're going to survive. They're not going to help me. Enough talking. I'm going to kill you. I'm just going to stay silent. Shaman Dom nods. Your dignity becomes you will. I hate the pact with all my being, but I must admit your people are brave. I'm sorry, Sahara. We'll leave you to decide how you want to meet your fate. We need to prepare our escape before your allies find you. Time is very short. They turn to go. Okay. 
So, dominant defenders head off in different directions, each determined to destroy useful information before Abaddon comes for it. Before Dom exits from view, he looks back at you. He is very old and tired, but he has just enough energy left to deal with you. I regret my any I regret my moment of weakness and sympathy. You are of Abaddon. You are murderers and tyrants. I am glad you are about to die. Then he leaves. You are finally free to inspect the crystal pylons that hold you prisoner. They are minor magic, unsuited to the level of power being drawn from them. The pylon to the east is flickering as if it is about to fail. Well, okay, to the east. What, what pylons? I mean, they're not doing anything. All right, I'm gonna save first before I do anything. So I don't wanna go through all that spill again. Of course, um, I probably should have done a hard save to be quite honest. But this looks like it did fail, didn't it? Did it? Already fell? I mean, that that just seems too easy. I'm sorry. Hmm. We got out that easily? I don't know. That just doesn't seem right. So... Well, it gives us this lightning. Shocks. It gives us shocks, but they wear off. Well, that wasn't that great. I don't know. <laughs> well, I was expecting something a heck of a lot worse. Hmm. Though the gate is closed behind us, right? Yes, it is. Okay. Well, we're over 30 minutes now, so... I am going to go ahead and close this episode down while we uh, investigate this um, this underground training or school that's been abandoned and taken over by the rebels, the Shaman rebels. So if you enjoyed this episode, click like, leave a comment. Thank you for watching. Sahara out.